Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Diecast review here on the channel. Uh, today, I have Clint Boyer's uh, Barstool Sports USA uh, undefeated since 1776 Diecast to show you all. This car is absolutely beautiful, but uh, I can't wait to open it up. Here we got Clint Boyer there on the side with Stuart Haas Racing. Uh, you got the barcode on this side, uh, Action Racing Collectibles there again. And then Clint Boyer, number 14, Barstool Sports 2020 Mustang. Uh, again, would have been cool to have some box art, but it is what it is. Can't do anything about it now. Um, I'm curious to see if Barstool, I doubt they stay in the sport, given that Boyer is retiring, um, or he did retire. And I don't think they have a deal with NASCAR or anything anymore, uh, which sucks because I was really enjoying the content that they were putting out. Um, yeah, you, know, you know, just showing up at races and stuff. I think it was good, good publicity for NASCAR, especially for you know my demographic. You know, age twenty to you know seventeen to twenty four. You know, in that area, um, I would say. But oh well, um, hindsight's twenty twenty. <laughs> we're gonna get to this diecast. Um, you got back to back world champs there on the hood, as well as the USA uh, outline with stars on it. You got the Barstool Sports logos on each side of that. Um, it's just a beautiful logo that is right there. Um, I need to get me a hoodie that says that. You got Cup Series there with the Ford logos on the windshield banner. And then you got the Ford Mustang nose. Very nice so far. Not any issues at all. Here you got an eagle flying as well as the stripes with the stars going on the side. You got the 14 right there. You got the Barstool Sports logo with USA undefeated since 1776. Uh, you got the Haas Rush Truck Center's logos down there. Very nice so far. Absolutely solid. I wouldn't necessarily say simple, but I don't know. I just, it's not too much for me. I really enjoy it. Uh, I don't know if it's as good as Kevin Harvick's Bush car. I don't think I would put it ahead of it, but, um, it's definitely right there in the same ballpark. Uh, it's really cool to get a Barstool car too as well. So you got Barstool Sports there on the back with the stars going around the bumper with the stripe as well. Uh, you got USA, you got, I guess that's all, yeah, that's all the wars that they've won, I guess you could say, uh, 1918, 1945, and 1776. Very cool. You got Barstool Sports there on the roof, as well as Clint Boyer. And then on the right side, same old thing going on. You got Too Big, Too Strong, Too American with the Barstool Sports logo. Really cool that they switched it up on this side a little bit. Um, but yeah, such a great paint scheme. Definitely would recommend picking this one up. I kind of wish I would have gotten the 124 scale uh, if it was made now. But, uh, again, uh, might try to pick that up. But I don't know if it DMP'd or not. But but that's going to do it for me in this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that if you don't mind. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And let me know what you all thought about this paint scheme down below. And do you think Barstool Sports had a positive impact uh, in the slightest on NASCAR? So I'm curious to see what you all think. Uh, but yeah, follow me on Instagram at NASCAR underscore diecast if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.